Hello and welcome to a video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. In this video tutorial, we're going to look at changing the contextual menu in Flash. Now, a contextual menu is the menu that pops up when a user right clicks or if a user is using a Mac, uh, when the user control clicks on your Flash movie. The contextual menu is the menu that appears. Uh, before I get into any detail, I'm just going to say I'm using Flash Professional 8 here with ActionScript 2.0. Now, as I was saying, when a user right click or control clicks on your movie, a menu pops up. Actually, th one of three menus will pop up. There is the regular standard menu. There is a text editing menu if you right click on dynamic text or in text input field. Um, and there's also an error menu. Now, in Flash, using ActionScript, you can make some changes to this menu. We're going to look at changing the standard menu. We can take stuff out of there. We can add stuff. Um, you can even make different menus pop up over different movie clips, buttons, or text fields. So, let's go up here to Control, just to start things off, and hit Test Movie. Now, I'm going to get rid of my bandwidth profiler. And this is just your exported movie. If I right click, you have some options. You've got show, redraw, regions, print, settings, quality, show all, 100%, zoom in and zoom out. If we add a frame here, I'm just going to hit F5 to add one frame, and we export the movie again, we have a bunch more options. We've got play, loop, forward, rewind, back. We've got all kinds of other options just by adding one frame because now the movie is continuously looping one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, just like that. So we can now make changes to this menu, and we can edit that menu. We can take things out, put things in, etc., etc., just by using some action script here in Flash. So first thing we're going to do is use this layer. Well, actually, we'll just create a new layer and name it AS for action script. We're going to select the first keyframe, and we are going to open up our actions palette by hitting F9. Here is the actions palette covering up virtually the entire screen. And we are going to type menu change equals new context menu. Open and close parenthesis, semicolon to finish off the line of code. So here we have an instance of our newly created action script object. We've just created that variable. And it's going to change the conte context menu, excuse me, um, which again is like the technical name for the right click menu. Now that we have this object here, this context menu object, I should say, we can start to change properties of the menu. All the items that appear in that menu are properties of an object called built in items. And each object in the default menu can be turned off or turned on by setting its property to either true or false. Okay, you're going to see exactly what I mean in just a minute when we start making some changes. So let's actually make some changes. Now, to make these changes here, we are going to type the name of our object, which in this case is menu change, and then we're going to put a period. Now, as soon as we type that period, you can see Flash has this pop up menu that says built in items dot forward back dot loop and all of these are those different properties that are in that menu so we are going to just for starters we will take the oh, I don't know let's say the forward back we're going to click that and hit enter and you can see it says dot built in items dot forward back now all we have to do is attach to the end of that equals either true or false now it's already there so I'm just gonna type false semicolon and what that's going to do now, well, in a second it will. Actually, there's one other line of code we have to do. But it's going to make that forward and back command disappear. And the forward and back command I'm talking about, actually, let me just export the movie so you can see that it is definitely there. We have forward here and back. That's what we're getting rid of by using this forward back built-in items equals false line here. We're going to, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Go to line three here. And we're going to make a couple other changes. We're going to say menu change dot, let's get rid of print. Let's say equals false, semicolon, menu change dot, built in items. Oh, let's get rid of quality so people can't go and make our movie look like a real low quality production because that's just not something we would do. So 
we are now hiding, or we're about to hide. Don't go exporting the movie yet, because there's one thing we need to do before these will actually disappear. But we're about to hide the forward, back, print, and quality properties of that context menu, so you're not going to be able to get to them and change them. So what we need to do is associate this menu change object with the menu property of another object. That object can be an individual movie clip, so when you right click over that movie clip, this met this changed or edited menu will pop up, or that object could be your entire movie. So here on line five, let's add this code underscore root dot menu equals menu change. Oops, semicolon. Okay, so now the menu change is editing the menu of this entire movie. Let's close up the actions panel and hit command or control enter and right click. And you notice forward back is gone, quality is gone, and print, they're all gone from our contextual menu. That's very, very, very nice. And uh, you can see it's just this little bit of code here that's doing that. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to edit a little more and learn a little bit more about using and changing really not using the con contextual menu in your flash movie now we can add objects back in by simply switching the false to true if I export the movie you're going to see we have what did I add oh print I put print back in there you go print is set to true and print sure enough is back in the menu now let's say you want to get rid of like everything you can get rid of and just have the most basic contextual menu you, you can get. You can do that with just one line here so you don't have to go and do bi dot, dot built in items, dot forward back, dot zoom, dot quality, all of them. You don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is we're actually going to start with a new menu change dot and we're going to come down on this list and down here at the bottom is this option hide built in items. We're just going to hit that and hit enter apply our semicolons at the end and underscore root dot menu equals menu change I'm going to close our actions panel and export the movie and when I right click you can see all I get is settings and show redraw regions so that's a real quick and easy way to just get rid of virtually the entire context menu the last thing I'm going to show you here is how to change or make the context menu change when you have a movie clip out there you click on you right click over the movie clip you get a different context menu that when you click on just any other part of the movie. I'm just going to grab the rectangle and I'm going to make a red rectangle right here in the center of the stage. I'm going to select it, hit F8 to convert it to a symbol. I'm going to convert it to a movie clip symbol and I'm just going to call it box. Hit OK. Come down here, move the actions panel out of here. Come down here into your properties panel and under instance name, just name it box. Just like that. So we've given it an instance name. Now, I'm going to open up my actions palette and we're going to say menu change equal new context menu uh, menu change dot hide built in items so when you select any part of the movie well actually I'm going to do menu change here I'm just going to take away the quality and the print functions of the regular movie so let's say print and we're also going to say menu change dot quality Okay, and equal false semicolon. Whoops, should put a semicolon, not quotes. Equal false. So now the menu obviously will not have print or quality. Let's make another context menu change here, and this one we'll say is menu change two equals new context menu. Oops, make sure you put that space there between new and context menu. Parentheses and semicolon. And here we're going to say menu change to dot built in items, but we're actually just going to say hide built in items. Put the semicolon. And here we're going to say box dot menu equals menu change to semicolon can check to see if I have any errors and there are no errors so if all goes well this will work properly I'm going to export the movie 
when I right click out here you can see I don't have print or quality when I right click over the box I have a completely different context menu so there's really a lot you can do here playing around with the context menu you can mix things up you can mix multiple menus in one document depending on what movie clip you click on you can add your own custom links in there you can add your own custom text there are ways to do that although I didn't cover it in this tutorial unfortunately that will be in a tutorial to come for sure because that's actually really cool you can set your own text in your context menus and actually link it out to your own sites, you know, other links that you want it to be, other than, you know, what Flash already has default linked in there. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of things you can do, and there's all kinds of cool things you can do with these context menus, but this is definitely the fundamentals and the basic starting point for you getting started creating your own custom context menus. And it's really just one of those little things that is just really cool, something you can do with Flash, and certainly something that's pretty interesting. So I hope you've learned something in this video tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, please go check the site out. That's www.tutvid.com. Thank you for watching.